So when I'm working on my Next.js applications, I typically have the Next.js docs open. But recently I've been so conditioned to like always use ChatGPT to kind of get my answers. It's kind of unfortunate that when I do ask questions, for example, if I say, give me an example code snippet of a Next.js API route handler, which accepts a Git request, please only provide an app router example. Um, you'll see that the code that it provides, this is the pages router approach. Okay, this is not what I want. Like even Bing chat, although this kind of looks correct, I don't think it is because I don't think you use next API request when using the app router. I think you actually are supposed to just use the request object. At least that's what they have in all their docs. So both of these AI chat systems are just not trained on the latest data and they don't give you good results. So I was planning to like build my own little side project again to basically train on the existing app router docs so I can get specific results that match exactly what I'm looking for. And there's this cool stuff called vector databases that you can use. And I was going to start going down the path of building my own, but I remember that Convex is great for this type of stuff. Convex has sponsored a couple of previous things on my channel in the hackathon, but I went to the templates just to see like, hey, do they have something that would kind of help me out? And I actually saw this project that I think was created like last week. And I looked at the repo and I grabbed all the code and it, and it kind of does everything you're looking for. Now I'll say this is not a sponsored video. I'm just super excited that there's a existing template that does everything I want. And I wanted to share that with other people if you wanted to kind of learn from it. So I had this project cloned down to my local laptop and I also went ahead and just did like a start to create the convex application. And one thing you can do is you go to this ingest function and you can actually give it a single URL. So if I want to go ahead and just tell it to kind of parse through um, any of the existing documentation, you can do that. So for example, if I do route groups, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this URL and I'm gonna paste in this URL here. And that actually uses fetch to pull in the HTML, it uses Cheerio to parse it, it grabs the markdown, it indexes those documents and splits them up into chunks using Langchain. So if I go over to documents, you'll see that our document shows up over here. It takes all those and splits them into chunks. And then at some point you have to go through and kind of embed all those chunks. So I'm gonna go ahead and just run embed all real quick. So I'm gonna go down here. I'm just gonna run this embed all function, which kind of loops through all the chunks that hasn't been seen yet. And then it's gonna create embeddings and store those in the database. So if I go to data and go to embeddings, we will see a bunch of embeddings kind of show up here for those documents. And what the embeddings are, if you're not familiar, Basically, you take some text, you feed it into OpenAI, and it's going to give you like this embedding giant vector that has data that kind of describes that document that you sent in. In our case, the embeddings are going to describe the chunks. It, it takes a document, it chunks into different parts, and then it uses the embedding so that when a person does a search, we can get the results back. So if I wanted to, for example, uh, let me make sure that nothing failed. So I'm going to go to my logs. Everything looks good. So now I'm going to go to this convex example template. And I'm going to go ahead and just ask a different question. I'm going to go ahead and say, give me an example of a route group using next 14. Okay. And now sometimes it'll return with, I don't know. So you might have to rephrase the question so it can actually find the embedding correctly. But the second time I asked it, it said to create a route group in Next.js, you can wrap a folder's name in parentheses. For example, if you want to create a route group named marketing, you could create a folder named marketing with parentheses. And it's basically doing a search over this documentation, which I think is pretty cool. Let's do the original question. So I'm gonna paste in, let's also try the question that I asked ChatGPT, just kind of give you a comparison because before Bing Chat and ChatGPT was kind of lacking. Let's go over here, I'm gonna ask that question. So right here you have an example. Basically you create a Git function. You takes in a request parameter. Now this one's correct, which is nice. I'm also gonna ask the same question, but I'm gonna say give an example of sending back JSON with a success message. So hopefully if the documents have enough information, it'll kind of show you how to do that. So now I get the information right there and I don't have to go to the docs anymore. So I thought this was pretty cool. I was super happy that there's a template that kind of did all this. And I just wanted to share that with my subscribers because I know a lot of people joined the hackathon a couple months ago and participated with the Convex hackathon. So I'm not going to walk you through all the code, but I do want to talk about when you send a message. What this does is it calls this mutation which is going to basically insert a message to a database and then it calls a serve function. So over here, this is going to look through all of the documents. It's going to take the last message that you sent to the, the chat UI over here. It's gonna convert it to an embedding and then it does a convex vector search for your documents that most resemble your search, right? So if I search for route handlers, it's going to find those document chunks that are related. If I search for route groups, it'll find a different set of document chunks. And then I basically use those relevant documents inside of this text here to concatenate all of the 
context before, and then I asked the question that the user asked. Now I did change this text just a little bit from what the code is on their template project. I wasn't getting uh, great results, but this was yesterday. ChatGPT was having a ton of issues, having a bunch of like downtime, 500 errors. So I don't know if the issues are related to that. Um, also, I had to change the model to GPT 3.5. I think they default it to four, and I don't have that 20 bucks a month um, subscription, so I don't have access to that right now. And I thought this was pretty cool. And the idea is I wanted to take this project and basically just index only the wrap outer pages and have a UI where people can go in and ask questions and specifically get answers trained on the latest app router documentation. That was the idea. I probably won't actually do that, to be honest. I have too many side projects that I never finish, so I'm trying to hold back on even starting a new one. But if you guys are interested in doing something like that yourself, be sure to go check out this Convex template, uh, read through it. It's super easy to get running. You just need like an open AI key, and you just need to set up for a Convex account to kind of get that provision. All right, that's all I want to share. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this little overview. Also, leave a comment below if there's a specific way you like using ChatGPT or OpenAI to kind of do searches on specific things. Or if you have a suggestion, maybe I should just pay the 20 bucks a month and get an OpenAI subscription to get better results. Um, but, but I think having something that's trained specifically on your docs is a, a great path forward. All right, that's it. Have a good day and happy coding.